Hey guys, this is Brandon at The Edge Pro, and today we're gonna start a little bit of a series talking about our Nebraska Blades products. Specifically today, we're gonna work on the kits that come with the machines. And I'm gonna just kinda highlight each item that comes in that kit and what it's used for, kinda why, why it's in the kit, and help you to be able to decide on what machine you're wanting to buy and uh, if, if Nebraska Blades is the right product for you. Um, so when you get a kit, it'll come with your machine in a box and on the front of that box it'll have a little checklist like this that identifies what's in the kit there. And um, so we're going to go through those things. Uh, we're going to start over here with this red fur and also with this little string here. And all that is is a couple different mediums that we use uh, to be able to test the sharpness of our blades when we're done sharpening and assembling them. And so, um, <clears throat> as you're starting out, um, we want to make sure that you have options to be able to test different things on and find out what works best for you and for your company. And so, uh, these are two of the things we, we add in the kit, um, just a small little patch of the, the test string uh, and the test fur there. And um, yeah, so the, like, the factories use the test string um, but sometimes it's hard to be able to tell, especially as you're still um, getting started, to see if that is something that you want to end up using because you want to have confidence that your blades are cutting when you give them back to the customer. Um, so we recommend testing blades on both so you can see how it reacts to both, um, both the fur and on the, and on the string. And then uh, be able to go ahead and make the decision on uh, what is going to work best for you and your company. So we'll go ahead and get this out of here and move on to our next item. Um, so the next item is we'll talk about these bags here. And this is just something, uh, one way of doing it um, and putting, when you're done with your blades, uh, done with sharpening and testing and all of, the pro all of the steps that go into that process, a lot of people like to put them in bags, put them with a little bit of oil because not all the time is your customer gonna use that blade right away. Um, and so if they can stay in a stay in a bag with some oil in there, that'll help them uh, to be able to stay um, stay oiled up and clean, ready for use when they do need it. So we go ahead and provide that uh, in the kit as well. Um, another little tool that we have here. Uh, this is just a it's basically a fish hook sharpener, um, but uh, what we use it for in this kit is to be able to soften the tips of some of the more surgical blades that we use. Those blades will start to get sharp tips as we sharpen them down a little bit, and we wanna make sure that we're giving a safe blade back to our customer. And so this is one way to be able to soften those tips. A lot of the things in here, in, in the sharpening industry, there's many, many ways to do uh, one project, or one, uh, one task that we're needing to do. And this is just one way that's um, fairly inexpensive and uh, will work to uh, fits in the kit nicely and so that's what we go ahead and put in the kit um, another item that we have in here is called uh, we call this one the socket setter and uh, on the blades there's a piece called the socket and that will uh, get bent in different ways over time and so this just helps us gauge getting that set back to how it needs to be set so that it can work well with the clipper when we give the, the blade back to the customer. Next item we're gonna talk about here is the magnet. And that's uh, pretty self-explanatory. It holds the blade for us while we sharpen it. Um, nothing, nothing too spectacular about that. Again, there are plenty of other ways to hold the blade when you're sharpening. And uh, this is just just the way we do it here at Nebraska Blades and a way to, to help get you started. Um, it's gonna match what your training would be like from us. Um, and so that way you, know, you start with, with something consistent and then we can start to throw in other variables that may be more helpful in, in the long run. Next, we're gonna talk about this wooden block. Nothing special at all about it, except that uh, it's the one we make. and. So that makes it special, <laughs> but, but uh, no. So really, uh, this is just gonna be used to help us uh, rub the grit down into our wheel and um, move it around on the plate as we're seasoning our plate. And uh, really the only thing that is a little bit special about it is we do round the corners on these. And the reason for that 
uh, is as those corner, if those corners are square, a lot of times what happens is you end up just pushing a lot of the grit off your wheel and uh, we want the grit to stay on the wheel. And so uh, when you round the corners, it allows the grit to get under the block a little bit better. And uh, that's the purpose of that. Um, again, nothing special about it, but the idea of the kit here is that you have everything you need to get started in sharpening is, is what we're going for, almost everything. There are a few things that we don't have in the kit that you need for sharpening. Um, and I'll talk about those in a minute. But, uh, but yeah, so that's what we're trying to accomplish here with this kit. Next, we'll talk about the grit. Um, with the grit, we put uh, 240 grit in all of our kits. Um, basically, anywhere from 180 in a range of 180 to 240 grit is going to work just fine. Um, we use 240, it's a little less aggressive. Um, so as you're getting started and trying to get your feel for sharpening, that's something that we think um, a little less aggressive grit is going to be a little more forgiving for you. Uh, and then like all of these things, as you get going down down the journey of sharpening, you can find that you may like the 180 better in our shop. We actually prefer the 180. Um, and so that's the joy of being an entrepreneur is you get to decide what, what works for you the best. Um, here we have a little parts kit and it just has some spare parts in it for blades. Uh, from time to time, pieces will get lost or broken and uh, you'll need some spare parts to put the blades back together and so we include just a small sampling of what you'll end up needing um, to be able to repair those blades and then you can decide kind of the rate at which you're going through those parts and how often you would need to order those or what quantities you would need to order those um, next we have a few of our support liquids here um, we have h42 um, what is this spray adhesive and our uh, blade oil and I'll, so I'll talk about the H42 here. The H42 is going to be essentially a plate cleaner. Um, it works to help pull off of the old grit and the old adhesive to get us ready to be able to um, season that wheel again. Um, so uh, after we get done sharpening we'll use this to clean off our plate. Uh, there's a couple different ways that we go about doing that. Um, one of the ways that's taught on the DVD uh, that also comes in the kit, we'll get to that in a minute, is uh, using the spray bottle or the spray nozzles with the with our liquids. Uh, another way is we have another video of what we actually teach. We've changed changed some methods on how the, that's taught, um, and we actually will take these products and put them in a bowl and uh, use a foam brush like these to use that to clean the plate. And the reason for that is uh, we'll do that for cleaning the plate and for applying the adhesive. And the reason we do that is it's gonna give us more consistency in, uh, in making sure that we have a clean plate and making sure that we have consistent coverage of our adhesive on the plate. Um, with the spray, uh, you run into spots that are gonna have heavy, heavy coverage and light coverage. Um, and it can, it take, it has a, there's a longer learning curve with that and uh, we found that this seems to be more consistent and we can learn that that curve a little bit quicker uh, and get the longest life out of our plate with it and so um, that's why we have that kind of i'm jumping off of the liquids a little bit but that's why we offer uh, both of these different things here um, so that way you can figure out what works best for you and um, we wanted to be able to equip you to go on either of those routes that you would like to go on um, so that's our H42. It's a plate cleaner. That's really all it is. Um, and then another product here is our spray adhesive. And the spray adhesive is a mixture of uh, machine grade lard oil and the H42. And uh, it's mixed with the H42 because that keeps it fluid so that it can be sprayed. Um, it can also, uh, lard oil can be used just by itself as well. Um, when it is mixed with the H42, it doesn't solidify at all. So if it's out in your mobile rig or uh, if you've got your shop set up out in your garage and the temperature gets cooler, uh, you may find that mixing a little bit of the H42 in with the lard oil to make this adhesive, um, the spray adhesive, uh, is a good solution for your business. Um, overall, we like to go more towards straight lard because it's going to give us more adhesive property rather than cutting it and making it thinner. Um, and we want the adhesive to 
adhere the grit to our plate. Um, and so if we can have as much adhesive property in the lard oil as possible, that's probably going to be best. Um, so you may see a change in our kits in the future with some of those things. Um, but for right now, uh, we're still using the spray adhesive. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that's something that something that you can do there and um, in the future if you we do have the lard oil available as well if you're wanting to start me messing with some of those mixtures to find out um, what works best for you and your sharpening um, that would be we encourage that uh, here we have our startup oil uh, this is just an oil that uh, we mix to uh, be able to put on your blades and uh, go ahead and, and have them have them oiled up before you give them back to the customer that way they're ready to ready to go and hopefully give them a long life out of that by staying up on that basic maintenance of oiling the blades here we have the dvd uh, this comes in there it walks through sharpening a clipper blade um, it's a good resource um, but it's not everything you need to get, be sharpening we highly 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 recommend taking the time making the investment in you your business yourself in getting training um, whether that's with us or with someone else we highly recommend getting training because what the DVD doesn't do a good job of is um, being able to help you and see what techniques you're using as you're sharpening be able to identify problems that may be happening just out of um, newness of everything and everything's kind of uncomfortable starting out because it's not none of its very natural movement um, and so there's different things like that that would be really helpful um, to have uh, some kind of a mentor or trainer to be able to help in that situation um, Another reason, is, or another thing, that DVD doesn't DVD doesn't do a great job of is helping you troubleshoot um, what happens when we get all the way through uh, the process and we have blades that don't work. Um, that is an area that can be difficult to figure out, and uh, the, there's not a great way to do that on a DVD. We're looking at um, making some changes to that DVD uh, to upgrade just with technology, and then also uh, some more information that may be maybe more helpful. But uh, but yeah, we offer that. We want you to be able to get started with the machine, but more than anything we highly recommend training you'll be more successful in your business if you get it um, and uh, we would love to be able to help you out with the training or point you in a direction of somewhere we would recommend to help you out with the training um, but that's in there it's going to help you get started um, lastly we have the rub block um, and this is basically a tool it comes with instructions and basically a tool that helps us to check our work when we're sharpening um, helps us in that troubleshooting process to be able to see why why did or didn't this blade work what can we do to um, hone in our skills a little bit better to make that blade work um, work to its best ability and so we go ahead and include this in the kit as well the kit I'm going through right now is specific to the um, our little red and so there's going to be some hardware with each of the machines that's going to be specific to to the machine. Um, so our little red has little screws and it only has three of them and then we include a wrench uh, that corresponds with that size. And so that's going to be in there and then our little red has a handbrake as well <clears throat> and we're going to include that. So when you do get your machine you would have to mount your brake first and then you'll end up mounting your wheel with this stuff here and then you're ready to start uh, seasoning your plate and be ready for sharpening um, so that pretty well concludes the kit the things that our kit doesn't include um, that <clears throat> will still be things you'll probably want for sharpening uh, one of those is going to be a some kind of a scale um, because we test the tension on our blades and the way we do that is with a scale um, and that's not included in our kit and that's something you'll pretty well need day one um, and so uh, like a low weight uh, food or postal scale works really well uh, we have several other options that we we sell it um, as well and we're probably going to do some videos on on some of those support products that we do offer in the future um, but yeah, so that would be one thing that the kit doesn't include. Uh, another thing would be a demagnetizer. Um, 
My opinion is that it's not necessarily needed day one, but it's a really good tool to have um, pretty close to right off the bat if you can. Um, I, wouldn't sacrifice, I wouldn't sacrifice training to get a demagnetizer, um, but it would be uh, pretty high on the list to go ahead and get. I think you'll see that your blades will last. Uh, you'll be able to get the longest life out of your blades and give you the, the cleanest, smoothest product. Um, so that gives us an overview of what comes in your kit and uh, I hope that's helpful for you and kind of what some of our products are and why. If you have any questions, definitely leave a note in the comment or leave a comment. Uh, we'll make sure to get to those and um, feel free to go on over to our website as well and check out these products and, and their costs and all of those things as you're needing to refill some of them. And we'd love to talk with you through, through any other questions you have. Uh, if you um, found this helpful, definitely subscribe to our page. We appreciate that. Hit the thumbs up button as well. And uh, we'll talk to you next time.